Bitcoin starting the week with a little bit of a breakout. It's not some crazy 15, 20% move that we woke up to on a Monday morning, but it's a breakout nonetheless. This upper trend line of the symmetrical triangle has been broken. In this video, I want to break down the short term price action. I want to bring in some historical data from actually last cycle when Bitcoin was hovering and consolidating around all time highs. What Bitcoin did next, I think it offers some really valuable context and just visualization tool to what could potentially happen with this Bitcoin price chart. And I want to make a note as I start the video, still around 11 hours on this daily candle. So this is something I'll be watching in the short term. Please hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's jump in the video. Before we dive into the price action of Bitcoin, I just saw this. This is kind of making, making its way around. Multiple Chinese institutions to launch Bitcoin ETFs in Hong Kong, including Harvest Fund, $230 billion. China Southern Fund, $284 billion. Just another, another win for Bitcoin on the macro. When we talk about supply shock, and I've been doing these videos for years, right? This having the supply shock, we talk about it because of the Bitcoin halvings, right? Supply shock. That's how it's been over the years, narratives. But now we're getting a, a different dynamic to what supply shock means. And on the zoomed out monthly at this Bitcoin halving, because we are in the month of Bitcoin halving, supply shock, we actually have institutional supply, supply shock happening globally. And I just, I want to just make a reminder of that. And, and perfect illustration of this happening is the very fact that Bitcoin is hovering at this all-time high area at Bitcoin having, and in every cycle past, Bitcoin has not broken all-time high until months after the Bitcoin having. So the Bitcoin supply shock is real, and I really don't think it's going anywhere. Let's start digging into the charts a little bit. So we're going to dissect the, the short-term structure of what's happening here, even this breakout, what to anticipate from a short-term price action perspective. But what I want to do as we start telling that story, zoomed out on the weekly, and I think I, I think I alluded to this yesterday, this move that we're at right now, right, from a technical standpoint, we just broke these bull market doors, Bitcoin's just breaking all-time high, but still consolidating in that general area of all-time high, right? Here's all-time high. 2021. That move is incredibly similar to last cycle when Bitcoin was doing the same exact thing. This lower high Fibonacci, the bull market doors, broke that area and then it consolidated there. You see that consolidation right around the 2017 all time high. Bitcoin, the move that Bitcoin has been in has been very similar to this. If you even look at this red candle right here, that red candle that was happening in the beginning of December. And we go to look at the, the kind of structure and setup of Bitcoin now. It just looks so similar, right? So there are actual fundamentals from a technical analysis perspective that are playing into, hey, the bull market doors were just broken, all-time high area. But even just the look of the upward pressure of Bitcoin right now looks similar. Now, on this weekly chart, there are six days, 11 hours left. This is a new weekly chart. But as we break down the short term, what I wanted to do was Let's just run with this similarity. This is fun. This is, I do this because it really does help me find, you know, find some visualization uh, of potential speculative scenarios, in this case, a bullish scenario. But let's just say this similarity continues, right? This would be the weekly candle. A weekly powerful move for Bitcoin is what happened mid-December 2020 in the very similar move. So let's talk about that. And, and to do that, not only do I want to look at it on the zoomed out, which we're doing here, but here's the consolidation now in the short term, the zoomed in. And let's look at the move zoomed in last cycle. This is, this is interesting. A couple of things I want to point out, and then we're going to talk about how it relates to the current move for Bitcoin. So last cycle at the very similar area, meaning Bitcoin's consolidating around all time high in 2020 before going higher. You know, there's that big month, uh, weekly move and monthly move. Bitcoin was consolidating. It, it was a weird structure here. I mean, it's, it's not a lot of structure, right? It's, or it's at least not clean. We definitely have upper trend line, higher lows. We have this general area, I guess, of a resistance area for Bitcoin. It was right around $19,500 or so. It looks kind of like an ascending triangle, but again, not a ton of structure. We could probably take a line and maybe even just put some type of rising, rising wedge. Either way, there is a similar consolidation happening with Bitcoin now, right? And that is to say, higher lows on Bitcoin. We're in the symmetrical triangle. It's been a 
way way more clear structure. But if we even look at Bitcoin making this current daily move, if there's resistance here, we might get uh, even a larger ascending triangle at that general upper range, right? So we might have a symmetrical triangle right here and an ascending triangle right here with an upper trend line of resistance. Bitcoin might kind of consolidate between the two. Going back to this last cycle, though, the other similarity here besides consolidation before blast off was the RSI. RSI really did get overheated for a moment, and you can actually see it right here. This is that breaking the bull market door story playing out on the momentum oscillator. You can see just overbought, and then it cools down, right? And that's the consolidation that we see right here in this setup, right? That ascending triangle, we can call it. Now, if we go look at the chart now, and we kind of zoom out on the daily, look at the similarities. Here's the story of Bitcoin breaking the bull market doors, overheated, overbought. There it is, breaking those bull market doors, the lower high Fibonacci, did it very quickly. And then here's the story of the consolidation after at all time high area. So many similarities in terms of how Bitcoin is moving at this, at this time last cycle in December 2020. Does that mean that Bitcoin will do exactly what it did last time in 2020 and break out? It doesn't mean that, but I can say this. We have some really, really reliable areas to watch on this chart right now. Bitcoin's not just hovering in outer space right now. We have no structure. We have no story being told from a technical analysis perspective. There's a lot to watch for, right? And a, a couple of those things is this. Number one, we broke out of the upper trend line of the symmetrical triangle. Does Bitcoin close the daily candle above that area? That's number one. Number two, if Bitcoin continues even just a little bit to the upside, can Bitcoin break all-time high? We're not in just a regular consolidation. This consolidation that's happening right now, this is at all-time high area, right? So will Bitcoin break all-time high back here? There's a lot of resistance potentially right there. We could see an upper trend line formed right here for Bitcoin, and Bitcoin might start falling. If it falls, what happens at the apex of that symmetrical triangle, right? Is it going to get squeezed in between the two, the, the upper trend line and the upper trend line here, right? Two upper trend lines could be in play here. Bitcoin might consolidate in that area going into halving before making a move. But either way, we're still at that general apex of the symmetrical triangle right there, the, the end of the symmetrical triangle, and Bitcoin has to contend with this all-time high resistance. So with that being said, if Bitcoin manages to do what it did the last cycle and we get this breakout, right? This move to the upside, breakout out of all of that resistance. And if you look at this chart, if I zoom all the way out, that's Bitcoin breaking all-time high all the way back here from 2017. That's Bitcoin breaking all-time high and just kind of flying on the daily chart. If that happened, we have targets. So again, we're not in this outer space area. We actually have a target to the upside, a couple. We have $85,000 target. If you remember... This is this very large um, rising wedge that Bitcoin broke out of back here in February. Target to the upside around 85. And then if we zoom in, we have the symmetrical triangle target that we've been tracking that Bitcoin is consolidating right now and just broke out of the upper trend line. We have the target out of that around 80, 89000 to $90,000. So that's what I'm watching. I, I'm not talking too much about downside, although in my mind, as I look at this chart, it is there. There is downside in play. It sounds crazy as Bitcoin's breaking to the upside. But again, how does the daily candle close out of the symmetrical triangle? Does Bitcoin even break this resistance or is it getting rejected coming back into the apex? Then we have to start talking about can support hold at the lower trend line of the symmetrical triangle. It could be a week from now and Bitcoin could be testing the lower trend line and we could be talking about revisiting all the way down here, the apex of that rising wedge. And that's in the 50s. So this is an ongoing story. We can't just get bullish off of one, one move, especially on this daily candle when there's around 11 hours left. This is an ongoing thing that we're going to track. I wanted to track it with you as we start this week. This is just some of the things I'm watching when it comes to Bitcoin price action. But I will say Bitcoin can break all-time high and close a daily candle above all-time high, above this potential uh, trend line resistance, this upper trend line resistance. That would be an incredibly bullish move. There are our targets to the upside or Bitcoin to potentially do what it did in December 2020 and just go kind of crazy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, everybody. Appreciate you cruising through. Hit the subscribe, turn notifications on. I will see you in the next video. God bless.